whether it's small help for very specific needs or really very broad efforts across all of tracks to help individuals early in their career. We've helped hundreds of investigators get to where they are today. Uh, my name is Rahima Benhavour. I'm an assistant professor in biomedical engineering and with a joint department in the School of Pharmacy. My name is Flavio Frolic. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Psychiatry at UNC at Chapel Hill. My name is Jessica Zeg Hemsey. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Nursing at UNC Chapel Hill. Translational and clinical science is fundamentally the agent of innovation in healthcare delivery. So to be able to deliver better treatments, better approaches to care, better preventions, better diagnostics. I think innately it requires interdisciplinary work to question and um, inform future research studies. We always, you know, have a great idea or make what we call a seminal discovery that this molecule is really important, but then how to take that into something that, that impacts human health, that's the process of translation and fundamentally that's what's important. I believe I'm one of the very few electrical engineers who are professors in the Department of Psychiatry. We think we have ways how to use non-invasive brain stimulation to modulate and restore these brain rhythms. While this approach represents an effective treatment for a mental illness such as depression or schizophrenia is ongoing work in our center. But finding these people willing to enroll in clinical trials is very expensive, it's very complicated. Centralized infrastructure that helps with that, such as provided by TRAX, is really vital for us and have been using it repeatedly. We're developing the intravaginal rings, 3D printed. Because it's a platform technology, we look at it as really anything to treat women's health that could benefit from a local delivery. The main interaction and getting to know the tracks and the people there was through the training grant. Um, and that was really, for me, it was, it, was, it was a springboard for my career. There's currently no 3D printed ring that's approved by the FDA. So it was very important for us to actually hear from an expert in regulatory to, to see what kind of pathway we're gonna have to go through. Finally getting recognition from Big Pharma to come to us and wanting to test our technology, that's a huge validation for us. When we were developing our AED drone study, we sought out to create a realistic situation, delivering life-saving equipment to victims of cardiac arrest by drone. I would recommend to anyone who's establishing their own program of research to seek out the numerous resources and opportunities that TRAX offers. TRAX has experts, has people who've been through the process before, and we can help uh, a completely naive investigator translate their finding into humans from biostatistics to team science, informatics to workforce development. TRAX has many services well equipped to get your study started and on track. NC TRAX has had tremendous influence on a large number of investigators and been able to really move forward the research agenda at UNC.